now standing outside the Lassane Hall where the final draft UN climate deal was just released. Um, and we've heard very powerful speeches from Ban Ki-moon, from French President Francois Hollande, and also from COP21 President Lauren Fabius. All, all, they, all they were saying, or most of their speeches, were all about convincing uh, the countries, the delegations, the ministers present here at COP21 to adopt the decision, the agreement that they were able to um, come up with, that they were able to release. Um, so they were using very strong language, French President Hollande was reminding them that Paris was attacked by terrorists almost exactly a month ago. And uh, so France is calling on the world to adopt a universal agreement um, to be in solidarity with the French. Uh, so it was a very powerful statement. We also heard um, Lauren Fabio saying that now is a time to make history that the world can finally solve a major challenge um, of, the, of um, especially vulnerable countries. And uh, also putting the responsibility on the international community to prove the credibility of multilateralism, to prove that you know bodies like the, the COP, the UN, can come up with concrete solutions to, to challenges facing the world. So um, it was very moving. Uh, inside the La Loire room, where delegates were, there was a uh, standing ovation, uh, a lot of clapping, uh, a lot of support for the statements. Um, but we don't know outside, there are also many rallies and protests. Um, and we'll see later on what the CSOs, the civil society organizations, have to say about the draft. Um, so right now, the two two hours have been given to delegations to look over the text. Um, Fabius announced that the text would be released at around 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. So right now, uh, we're waiting for the, the draft to be formally released, for a hard copy to be distributed and put online. And delegations will be meeting in a few minutes to discuss, to pour over the document and to see if they will have to raise objections, what what um, what uh, agreements or what provisions they will they will support or not support. Uh, we've also heard that some delegations have have also been drafting already their statements um, to adopt or to maybe to reject. We don't know, but um, to what they will say during the plenary. Um, and the plenary later on at 3:45 p.m will be whether or not to adopt the, the final draft. Um, so stay tuned for more updates. Grappler will be on the ground here in Paris to cover the developments here at Le Bourget.